Tinker would have been born into a, a very structured society, very close family group, and a larger community, which uh, roams over a very large area of ocean. Until an orca calf is about one or two years old, he or she is extremely dependent on his mother. Keiko would have been spending every waking moment and every resting moment, you know, pretty much right at his mother's side. He might have been allowed little forays of independence. His mother might have given him a little bit of leeway that way, especially if he had brothers and sisters who could sort of keep an eye on him. And so a mum and her offspring essentially stay together for life. Uh, even uh, her male offspring stay with her throughout their entire lives. So uh, you have these uh, huge males with their tall dorsal fins uh, accompanying their mothers. It's an amazing sight, really, to think about these mums and, and the role that they have in their family, because what's the, what is happening is that they are passing their experience, their learning, and their traditions down from one generation to the next. So, so the mum passes what she knows and the traditions, including the dialects, uh, down to her daughters. And her daughter, in turn, passes them on to hers. <laughs> 